everyone, this is Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics. Well, today I'm showing you this image. I'll tell you the reason first. I get this question a lot of times on my social media profile, be it Instagram or Telegram, that, sir, just few days or weeks or months left for my final PG entrance exam. Still, I'm not able to identify Barton's fracture on an X-ray. So, let us try to identify the fracture here. So first of all, I'm sure you can see this is kind of a lateral view x-ray where you can see first of all there is a small shadow of ulna. So this overlapping shadow of ulna you can just ignore. Now what you see primarily on a larger basis is basically radius. Now what I want you to do is I want you to track the distal radial articular surface. See there is a fracture in the distal end of radius. There is absolutely no confusion about it. But you have to track the distal radial articular surface. Look at the distal radial articular surface. Wow, amazing, so nice. Oh my God, there is a big, there is a breach. Why do I say there is a big, there is a breach? Because this is the remaining distal radial articular surface. So there is a break, there is a breach in the continuity of the distal radial articular surface. One part is there, another part is there. So first of all, is this a fracture of the distal end of the radius? Yes. Is that extending into the wrist joint? Yes. Is that breaking the continuity of distal radial articular surface? Yes. So will we, will we call it as an intra-articular fracture of the distal end of the radius? Yes. Now, what is this, what is this boat-shaped bone called? Scaphoid. Now, this part of the distal end of radius has scaphoid fossa so that scaphoid can come and get fitted here. This part has lunate fossa for lunate to come and fit in here. But scaphoid rather than hair has come here. So, what you see is radio scaphoid joint subluxation coming back. So, intra articular fracture of the distal end of the radius? Yes. Extending into distal radial articular surface? Yes. With radio scaphoid joint subluxation, that is what is called as Barton's fracture. So I hope with this very small glimpse of Barton's fracture in the form of in a video explanation that I've given you, you will now be able to recall whenever it comes in your entrance exam as an image-based question. Never forget Barton's fracture. Wish you all the best. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.